So today's video is going to be gun violence run amok in the United States. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So it just seems to me like gun violence has gone insane in the United States. And it's not something that I ever thought would happen, um, period. And now every single day there are multiple, uh, sh uh, e multiple events of multiple killings in one um, gun uh, violence episode. I don't know what to say about it. So we're just going to draw the cards and see if we're finally going to get a handle on it sometime. I don't think so, actually, in my heart. Uh, but uh, I like what Australia's done, where they banned um, some guns. I'm not sure exactly how that works there, but I wish that could happen here. So we'll just do a reading on that, and uh, we'll play it by ear. I'm at a loss. Um, I'm embarrassed when I uh, take overseas trips to tell people I'm from uh, the United States. The, the gun violence, uh, I myself now am uh, actually um, leery, leery of going to a mall, going to any public event um, for fear that somebody's gonna show up with a rifle and start shooting people. I've never felt like that before uh, the last uh, four years, maybe the last six years. You know, it all started when Trump unleashed the um, the hatred monster, and uh, the National Rifleman's Associated Association in the United States just has a grip on people that's insane. People going to their front door with a gun in hand, ready to shoot someone who doesn't look like they should be there. Folks have a gun in their car when they go to the supermarket probably they have a gun in their in their on their person when they're inside the store um security officer recently at a at a, a home improvement store was killed by the woman who was trying to steal things from the store while he was just doing her job and trying to stop her from stealing things from the store children can't go to school without their parents worrying that they're going to not come home and probably the children feel the same way. So I don't know what the answer is. It's uh, horrifying to me and uh, I'm seriously uh, considering options of living somewhere else. I thought I moved to the safest state in the union here in Washington state. As a matter of fact, we just had a, a ban on uh, assault rifles here, which is fantastic. But um, it, on a recent trip I took to Florida, which is the state I'm from originally, um, it, it was fascinating to me uh, how barbaric the general population was. So um, we'll look at gun violence in America. I don't even know what I'm going to ask. It just um, is tragic. Um, I'm seriously considering moving to another country. So let's look at the cards, see what they have to say. It's a horrifying situation. I never thought in a million years that I would ever consider uh, not living in the United States. Um, this was the place where your dreams are supposed to come true. And it has been the case for me, but um, at what price now? So before we get started, let's have a moment of meditation. So viewers, if you have an idea of what um, can help us in this country, tell somebody. If it's not me, 
on comments. Tell somebody uh, in your social media. Uh, let people know how you feel. And uh, whether you're in the United States or whether you're in somewhere else. Um, I'm just shocked at, that I have come to this realization in this country. I never thought uh, this would be something that I'd have to deal with ever. That was something that happened in other countries. So let's see what the cards can tell us about gun violence. And I'm even so uh, upset that I can't even shuffle. Not that I shuffle very well usually, but I can't even shuffle very accurately. This is a nice deck because it has a, a kind um, spirit to it. So let's hope uh, that uh, it lends some um, softness to this really horrific uh, issue. So gun violence in America, three cards to say, will we ever get a handle on this ever? One, two, three cards. Okay, first card. This is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is an interesting card to get in this respect. Usually in the Rider Waite deck, it's represented by ten swords in the back of someone laying on the ground. My question is, will we ever get uh, a handle on this? And so in that respect, this is hopeful. In this deck, it shows the Ten of Swords represented by these ten birds flying off. And so uh, perhaps it's telling me that, yes, eventually this issue will go away. That's how I'm going to read it. Next card, will we ever get a handle on gun violence in the United States? Temperance. Well, of course. So you can see the two pinnacles here, which are sometimes money, but we're talking about values here. And the key to this, and look at this, this is a beautiful card because this person is depicted as almost having angel wings right here. So temperance is uh, right in the center of the uh, answer. And so that's the key to uh, making this issue uh, go away. And then the final card is a five of cups and the Five of Cups typically represents um, having lost something. You see these three cups here are spilt, and there's still uh, a couple of cups uh, left behind. This one partially uh, tipped over and one back behind her with lots of surprises inside. And so the Five of Cups is uh, representing something that you've lost, but you have to realize that you have something left uh, to, um, to go on with. And perhaps that means the loss of, of having these guns. I've never owned a gun in my life. Um, but for some people, it does represent a loss. So will we get a handle on gun violence? This is hopeful to me because it shows me that, yeah, there's an end to a cycle coming. Um, there's a temperance that's needed, almost an angelic balance that has to take place. And uh, once we come to grips with the loss of that privilege, I suppose you could call it, uh, we can continue on with what we have left. So that's nice. Now, let's see, gun violence in America. Gun violence in America. For me, it's the National uh, Riflemen's Association that is so strong uh, an ally for these people who in, insanely can't let their guns go. Um, there used to be a meme that said, uh, I'll let go of my gun when you pry it from my cold, dead fingers, or something like that. So the National Riflemen's Association will the United States ever be able to bring that organization into control. And what are people afraid of? Do they think that they need these guns to be able to take the government back at some point? I mean, it's interesting if that's the thought, because um, the Republicans uh, seem to be the ones who are so much in favor of having these guns, and the Democrats seem to be the ones who are more in favor of having a peace-loving society. So will we ever get a handle on the National Riflemen's Association? Three cards. One, two, three. Will we ever get a handle on the NRA to help correct this? Well, the Four of Cups is uh, being given something of value that you don't necessarily want. Interesting. Next card, will we ever... Uh, be able to wrestle the NRA into submission, really. And this is the Ten of Wands, which uh, the number 10 card always represents some sort of an end of a struggle. And the Ten of Wands is showing us how hard it is to carry this load. And although this, this uh, beast is overburdened 
with, uh, with the issue, we can see that it's come down a hill, which is somewhat of a relief on that burden, okay? So perhaps we're going in the right direction. And then the next card is the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups uh, represents someone who has everything they need to have, all the value that, that they could ever want, and it's an, over, an overabundance of that value. So this is hopeful to me. Will we ever overcome the NRA's grip on the United States? Well, this has to be the NRA representing something they don't really want. It's a burden. It's a heavy load to carry, but it looks like somehow we're on the easier part of that journey. It doesn't seem so from my point of view, but perhaps that's where we're at. It's okay. For me, maybe it's kind of like a, a wound. Sometimes it has to really fester and get really ugly before it starts to heal, perhaps. But in the end, we have the Nine of Cups, which is, uh, you know, just an abundance of optimism. So perhaps this says, yes, we will eventually get that uh, NRA under control, the National Reference Association. Um, the next thing I want to ask is, will our lawmakers come to their senses? Will the majority of our lawmakers ever come to their senses and decide that the best thing to do is to get a good handle on this. Will our lawmakers ever come together and do something that's going to cause us to be able to get a grip on this uh, horrific plague? Three cards. Okay. Three cards. Will our lawmakers ever come to their senses, our federal lawmakers? So we have the Two of Cups. This, this is partnership. This is uh, love. This is bringing uh, people together. So it looks like this is a hopeful card. This is the chariot. This is things coming at a rapid pace. This is things that are definitely uh, uh, approaching. And then the page of swords is a page is just an idea. It's just a thought. It's just a message. But this page is very carefully walking the precipice on this weapon, as a matter of fact, on this sword, tiptoeing across with lots of ideas and with, I want to consider this a book of law in their hand. So it looks like eventually our lawmakers will find some companionship. Uh, it will start to happen at some point in the universe, what's considered to be a rapid, a more rapid pace. And, uh, and it will be a, a daring do walk across the precipice of these weapons with lots of ideas and some lawmaking in hand. So that's very hopeful. So now I just want to do six cards on what will this journey be for America? How uh, all of this has been very hopeful so far, but how will the journey play out? What can the cards tell us in just six cards to let us know how this journey, preferably when this journey will ever uh, come to fruition and uh, we get a handle on gun violence in, in this country. Six cards for that. One, two, three. And if you want to know more about these cards, at the end of the video, I go into a little more depth and show you more of the cards. And uh, also, if you haven't subscribed, that makes a huge difference. And I hope that you would subscribe. Um, it just uh, means that uh, I can keep on making these videos. And if you're watching me now, they must be something that you like about them. So the signifier card on the journey <laughs> to uh, controlling guns. I love it when the cards repeat. This shows me, uh, and I, you'll hear me say it all the time, that the cards understand how I'm going to read a specific cards, and so they bring them back to help tell the, the final story. So the signifier of this is that it's a journey, but somehow, and it doesn't seem like it to me, but somehow we're on the downhill side of that journey, carrying that heavy load. The challenge to that is the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. And uh, wands are actions, by the way. And, uh, and so the Four of Swords is telling us that, yeah, it's, the Four of Swords tells us that there's a time to rest and to lay back and kind of think in, in depth about the situation that you're in. Here are the Four of Swords here. And uh, I love it that they show a heart, and the heart has the thread of continuity uh, going through all of that truth, justice, rules, and law. So the challenge to this uh, difficult journey 
but it looks like we're on the downhill path. Thank God. Uh, it doesn't seem like it from uh, from my point of view. Uh, but then I'm just a speck in the universe compared to the uh, the linear uh, nature of, of history. That goes on forever, by the way. Um, so, um, and the challenge to, to this uh, is, is taking that beat, uh, finding a contemplative time to relax and consider uh, what's happened. The basis of the whole thing is right here. These are actions. These are uh, forward movement. This is the five of wands. And this is pointless arguing. This is almost a situation we're in where we have people killing other people for just ridiculous, pointless reasons. Or that's how it seems to me. The past of this reading about the journey to gun control, really, is is funny that it would be this one because the six of wands wands are actions but this represents this represents victory um that's what the laurel uh, wreath here is telling us so victory in the past has something happened behind the scenes that's going to set us all it already happened already occurred that's going to set us on this path it looks like perhaps that's the case we perhaps to be optimistic we passed a point where victory uh, is on this journey. In the sky of this reading, again, is that chariot. So we need this to happen sooner rather than later. So that's what we want to aim for in the, in the sky of this journey. And then the final outcome here, again, look at that. Just what I said is when the cards repeat. And look at how many cards re have repeated out of 78 cards. This is fascinating. But it's that page of swords. So it's the idea. It's that uh, kernel of a truth that this person has almost completely successfully uh, maneuvered uh, through. Let's do one more card about um, the future of gun control in America. And it's a Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is illusion and delusion. And in this case, cups are compassion and emotion. And it's picking the right uh, bowl uh, that has the answer to that compassion uh, that's the key. So it's not written completely out in stone yet but the answer is here. So it's a, a long, torturous journey, but somehow, somehow we're on the downhill slope. It's challenged by uh, finding the time to consider that heartfelt thread that goes through the two justice rules and law of this issue. It's underscored by baseless, pointless uh, maneuvering and arguing. In the past, there's already been a point of victory that probably isn't very obvious to us That's that's led us on this downhill path, which is downhill, it makes it means it's easier. In the sky of it is that it, this will start to happen at a more rapid pace. And again, what's a rapid pace? Our lives are just a speck of time in the uh, the in the universe. The final outcome is this page is this just the kernel of an idea, and this represents law to me. And then the final final uh, description for that is this illusion and delusion finding the right solution is possible i hope this is a hopeful reading thank you so much for watching and for coming back to my videos and and looking at them again and again and recommending them to your friends for liking and i hope you've subscribed and uh, let me know what you'd like to read about and i'll read on that hey i'm going to show you the cards now so the Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann. Wonderful cards. They're very beachy. They're very now. Uh, the container they come in is really nice. It has some nice thoughts inside. And um, the cards themselves and the guidebook, all of this is good. The, um, the guidebook, although it's not in color, it's readable. And uh, it gives some good ideas as to how you might uh, interpret some of these cards. Of course, you know, the interpretation is very personal. So you have to decide if those inter interpretations entirely work for you. But they're based on the Rider Waite system. And you can see that the art goes right to the edge of the cards. They're very colorful. They're very, uh, they just speak to you right away. I mean, you just, even if you didn't know what uh, uh, the symbols of the cards mean, I think anybody could look at some of these cards and think, oh, okay, this is what it means to me. Like I always say, I love to uh, have someone... If we're going to do a reading, 
kind of spread the cards out like this and then they kind of get into the game they start looking at the art and their mind sort of kind of gets into the uh into the mode of of let's get some truth out here let's get some some tarot reading done so light sears tarot really really nice cards well coming back tomorrow i'll be doing it all again so ciao for now